so welcome up welcome back guys we're so sorry about that um the gremlins seem to have followed james and i uh, and giving us a bit of trouble on the sunset safari but i'm really really happy sitting here there's a bit of a breathing herd i can only see the one adult female just off to my right zebra we saw just now i asked you a question why do you guys think that the, the zebra has moved in? and uh, prince mac um, who's definitely not a name i've heard before so welcome princess macbeth on the live so most of these nyaleti and there's very little water in the Manuleti. There's only about two water holes left, in, which is about completely massive. And so there's our odd zebra concentrated up in the north where there is a bit of water. But all the zebra from the southern open plains of the Manuleti have now moved into the northern Sabi Sands to take advantage of the water holes here. So we will have lots of these little natural migrations and elephants are really great at this as well. And they will move through certain parts of areas at different times of the year taking advantage of water and food and at the moment because we've got so much water we are really lucky we've been around a quark moment elephant so I'm completely completely excited about that you can see making short work of a knob thorn just to the right of the safari live with wild earth and thanks to everyone who sent welcomes. I really do appreciate it. Uh, great to be back with all the regular viewers out there. Uh, welcome, and hopefully you'll be joining us for more of the live safaris. But we're gonna have a look at this Ellie as she dismantles this knob thorn. And going after that very nutrient rich. Be back safari live with Wild Earth. And thanks to everyone who sent welcomes. I really do appreciate it. Uh, great to be back with all the regular viewers out there. Uh, welcome, and hopefully you'll be joining us for more of the live safaris. But we're gonna have a look at this Ellie as she dismantles this knob thorn and going after that very nutrient rich. And a lot of people always think that elephants are very destructive uh, and they do push over a lot of trees and stuff like that but not at all destructive they are architects of the that actually have the capacity to change the bush from human being are elephants and hippopotamus two of the big keystone species in the rivers in this area in these areas uh, the hippos will keep the channels open and keep the, the water flowing while the elephants will push down trees and make areas more open or not We're going to cross across to Commander Bond so he can bid you adieu and then we'll be back with these Ellies for the last few minutes. Hello everybody, welcome back to Wendy. We stopped in this particular area so that we would, could greet you and say goodbye for this evening. Sorry about the technical issues we've had. And then we spotted what looked like something cattish in the tree and it was in fact the um, a monkey. A monkey. So, monkey, and that's it for this. To be back into the fold. It's wonderful to be back in the low felt. It's feeling very spring-like, which is marvellous. And a big thank you, of course, to the final control, Tara, and to the inimitable with his spectacular new beard cut uh, in the final control today. 
So thank you to all of you for your questions and your contributions, some lively conversations. I'll be back and listening to you all again and speaking to you all again. I will see you again tomorrow during the dawn. See you tomorrow. Welcome back everyone, as you can see, just behind this female who's right next to us, some others have come in and we're just sitting here quietly uh, in this sort of low, beautiful, low felt dusk and enjoying some time with some very special animals. It's great to be back here uh, on Juma and Arathusa private game reserves sort of feels like I'm back home now and hopefully we can get out there and start finding you guys some animals. I know James is just as excited as I am to be back. And what a wonderful way to end off on my first safari back, sitting here at the almost perfect time of the day in the most perfect temperature uh, with this beautiful little breeding herd of elephants feeding off behind me. Uh, thanks to everyone again for all the welcome backs. Thanks for all the questions. We really do appreciate them. And thanks for keeping me honest, guys. Some of those questions keep me on my toes. You guys don't even let me ease back into it. And you're bang on it. But I really do appreciate it. And it is really wonderful to get them. And from Brian and myself sitting here on the Jigger, uh, we'll see you very soon. And guys, don't forget to tune in for the sunrise as well as the sunrise, uh, sunset safaris. I know, unfortunately, some of you guys have to work and you can't make all the drives. But be sure to catch the updates uh, on YouTube or on the Wild Earth on the Wild Earth Twitter account. Uh, from us here at Juma Private Game Reserve, have an absolutely splendid rest of your day or evening, and we'll catch you bright and early on the Sunrise Safari for the last few seconds. Hand you back off to the real stars out here in the bush, the elephants.